Welcome. In this video, I'm going to help you use special triangles to fill in some information on these quadrants taken out of the unit circle. Before we begin, let's just make sure we know exactly what we're looking at. Here is the positive x-axis. Here is the positive y-axis. Now let's look at the appropriate triangle. So in a previous example, we worked out the lengths of the legs of this 30, 60, 90 triangle. You can refer to your previous notes or you can just draw this diagram here. So let's go ahead and translate this diagram onto this quadrant. Now if I go ahead and drop a perpendicular line, that's 90 degrees. Here is our 60 degree angle and 30 degrees. Now since this is the unit circle, this is the point one zero, this is the point zero one, clearly then the length of this hypotenuse has to be one. Okay, so this looks identical to our picture. So I know that the x value, so this distance from zero to x, that's just one half. And that gives me the x coordinate of this point as one half. Now this vertical distance, this is square root of three over two. So that means I go from zero to square root of three over two. That gives me the y value. And there you are. Let's repeat that for this lower triangle. So I'll trace this triangle out in a different color just to make it clear. So this hypotenuse here, I'll drop a perpendicular line. And here's the base of this triangle in blue. So again, this is 90 degrees. This angle here now is 30 degrees. And here's our 60 degree angle. So again, our hypotenuse is 1. And this longer side along the x-axis is opposite of 60 degrees. So I know that's square root of 3 over 2. Now what about the y value? Well, that's opposite of the 30 degree angle. So I know that y value, this length here, is 1 half. Okay, so now you have filled out 30 degrees and 60 degrees on the unit circle. And you know what their x and y coordinates are. These give you the cosine values. So the cosine of 30 degrees would be root three over two. The cosine of 60 degrees is one half. And the y coordinates give you the sine values at these angles. So sine of 30 degrees is one half. Sine of 60 degrees is root three over two. All right, let's do this again. First, of course, let's identify our x-axis, which is here, and our y-axis. And while I'm labeling things, I'm going to go ahead and label these points. This is the point 1, comma, 0, and here I have the point 0, comma, 1. And now this angle here is 45 degrees. And dropping this perpendicular line down, I get a 90 degree angle. So this one here is also 45 degrees. Now you can see I've switched out the triangle I have visible here from our previous example. This hypotenuse is certainly 1. That tells me that each leg here is the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So the x coordinate is root 2 over 2, and the y coordinate is root 2 over 2. I hope this video has left you full of giggles and grins.